Hey guys, what's up? This is our first NCAST and here we are going to present to you our quality assurance squad at NKEY. It's called Quake. I really hope you enjoy our presentation and all about our work as innovators beyond the code. So in this phrase, I wish you get. We always focus on the innovation without forgetting about the user experience and satisfaction. So the Quake team is currently composed of four really nice guys. First of them is Douglas. He's now our QA lead with five years of experience as quality assurance professional, plus five years of experience as developer. Moreover, one of his biggest passions is the art of composing songs. Guilherme is a QA senior who has been working as QA analyst since 2015. He already has experience working as an IT technician in health institutions too. Despite that, a curiosity is that Guilherme loves bodybuilding. Camille and I have been working and studying together, both as QA interns, developing our soft and hard skills in a way we can absorb not only the necessary knowledge to be a great QA in the future, but also to be really nice people. Our curiosity is that I love watching movies and Camila love cats. And also, Camila Douglas and I are from Floripa and Guilherme is from Porto Alegre. Now I think it would be nice if we could explain what our team name means. So, through a brainstorming with the experiences team, we have chosen Quake as the name of our team and we thought that the meaning of the word quake really fits on what we actually do. So a curiosity that relates the name of our team with the history is about the Richter magnitude scale. It's a scale that has been used for a long time to measure earthquakes magnitude. So the most important thing about this scale is that it has contributed to the study of predicting natural disasters. Now despite that Sadly, we still can't predict earthquakes, but talking a little bit more about us and what we do as QA squad, using our soft and hard skills such as communication, planning, describing activities, process, workspace, teamwork, measurements, automated tests, and so many others, we can nicely predict a lot of bugs and unexpected behaviors, helping the team to deliver what the users need. Our podcast has as its main goal to show and explain to you the following points. The Team Quakes Manifesto, the main activities of a QA squad, the workflow of a QA squad, QA as a service, why are QA services important, bugs and who is responsible for them, beyond the code, technologies and our references. And this is the Team Quakes Manifesto. Based on the Agile Manifesto, we have the following principles. Uh, I commit myself to guarantee the quality of the tested software, aiming to prevent and find bugs and defects. I commit myself to suggest improvements at the process and the quality indicators. I commit myself to identify what's the true source of the bugs observing the following aspects testing, usability, accessibility, cognitivity, automation testing, documentation, tasks detailing, development process, well written requirements, and the layout. Furthermore, I commit myself to assure the clients, stakeholders, and the team to reach my best performance during the project. And I commit myself too to spread the agile, DevOps, testing, and UX design cultures. So here we bring some of our main activities as the Quake team. So we suggest improvements while interacting with the team. We do the review of the requirements, activities refinement, analysis of the requirements in the acceptance criteria, checklists, use cases, web and mobile automated tests, layout testing, usability testing, regression testing, documentation, diagrams, flowcharts, uh, updating testing cases, here we use JIRA, uh, retesting bugs and activities, estimate and measure items in the team planning, accessibility testing, continuous integration and delivery monitoring. 
So for a good comprehension, we're going to provide you our QA flow chart. So it's in the description and I hope you enjoy it. Quality assurance as a service. This is something our team has been studying and the basic idea is that QA service simply offers complete and flexible quality assurance services, obviously according to the project's demands. So it's a nice alternative when the client can't spend much time with end-to-end -end testing, documentation, planning, execution, analysis and other things. So. QA and software testing are extremely important in the software development cycle and they must be introduced in the project's early stages. So this way we can save money and avoid the rework. And now the question is, why is QA important? And nowadays we can easily say there's no such thing as a bug-free software. So when we, as users, use a software, we can find some difficulties. It, it can be related to our lack of experience or because the software was developed in a non-perfect way for us. And in, in this case, we needed someone to check that the software that was developed is what the user or the customer needs. And because if you think about the problems that might happen because your software is not built correctly, we have many problems. Like what? Like, for example, loss of money. If I'm a company, I'm selling a software and now I see it has a lot of problems in it. Okay, I'll pay a lot of money to develop the software. I'm expecting a revenue, but I'm not able to sell it or there may be a lot of maintenance happening in the software after selling it and in this case it will cost me a lot of money and more than that we can talk about the software failures that resulted in deaths so we would like to point out some benefits or some yeah some benefits for having two or more people in a QA chapter uh, the task coverage through the automation a clear division of responsibilities, the spreading of knowledge, skills and experiences, the test coverage through different points of vision, increase the automation project's delivery speed, the QA squad management, mainly for the team leader, and that's the, the benefits we can point out uh, when talking about having two or more people in, in a QA chapter. So now, talking a little about the teams and its influences on the bugs, we know that the development team, such as QAs, developers, infrastructure teams, designers, are not the only responsible for the bugs and the defects found in the softwares. Actually, in most of the cases, it represents only a fraction of the cause of these bugs. So, everybody involved in the software development <laughs> agrees the, there's nothing more harmful than poor documentation. The lack of planning and organization while describing the requirements, the undersizing of the demands and the lack of the details on the tasks are a time bomb. So we are all responsible for the quality when talking about the process, the delivery and the documentation. So now talking about are mainly services in general. So we do functional testing, exploratory testing, unit testing, layout testing, BDD end-to-end -end testing, process automation, documentation writing and validation, security testing, performance testing, SEO testing, mobile testing, API automated testing, software inspection, QA measurement, playbook writing, training courses, automated tests running in Docker, automated tests monitoring with Jenkins and Cypress. And now this is the technologies that we are using now for dynamic and static tests. So this is Cypress, Apion, Selenium, Postman, JUnit, GoDog, Ruby on Rails, Playwright, 
prettier and yes lined so that's it and now we are studying uh, the frameworks karate hurl dev just sonar cube the lambda test framework and robot and more than that we're gonna provide you uh, a slide where you can find some references and some sources of our studies so that's it guys we really hope you liked it and if you have any questions or feedbacks feel free to talk to us and that's it thanks for your attention and see you in the next endcast <laughs>